say Japan has some of the most fashion conscious people in the world. Would you agree with me? Well, wherever you stand on this, the Japanese fashion industry has surely been striving over the years. Now we've seen a lot of Japanese street fashion, but what about their artisan jewelry and fashion accessories? Well, how does it look? With a strong interest in traditional Japanese lacquer ware, Japanese artists Rie and Madoka Sakamoto reinvented the way of using the material by designing a range of beautiful lacquer ware accessories. The jewelry collection maintains a balance between traditional beauty of Japanese lacquer ware and practicality of modern fashion design. The wearable art pieces have been featured all around the world and have become part of the permanent collection of the New York Museum of Modern Art. I know lacquerware has a long history in Japanese traditional art. Can you tell us when people started wearing this type of jewelry? And first of all, in every period, the the popularity is started for like wearing with kimono, mm -hmm. you know, like uh, the hairpin. Mm -hmm. So now people use for modern style. Mm -hmm. so. so the traditional style has. Um, Simply yes. just two color tones, yes. or is yes. there any special designs? This is a very traditional way, mm -hmm. like black and red coloration. Mm -hmm. We call this is the style of a negono style. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, they put the black first, and they put the red uh, lacquer mm -hmm. and the polish well, and so it became so the different color. I can tell that these these wear really well with you know if you go to a resort or if you go to Hawaii you wear those sundresses and you just have to put this simple one on and it already looks so great. So how would you match with something like this modern design? This size is quite big, so I would do wear on the coat on the winter. It's be nice matching you. So it's a it's a brooch. Yes, brooch. Actually, I'm quite surprised by how light it is. Yes, yes. Because sometimes jewelry is very heavy. Yes. Yeah. Are you a fan of Japanese culture? Well, I surely am because I love everything that's kawaii. Cuteness is definitely a prominent aspect of Japanese pop culture. But from the elegant lacquer jewelry that we've seen just now, you'll know contemporary Japanese culture has a wide spectrum. Look, there are still a lot of fashionable creations awaiting us. There have been endless debates on which city is the fashion capital in the world. Major cities like Paris, New York, Milan, and London are always on the list. But in terms of pulling off edgy style, Tokyo nails it every time. Japanese fashion is famous for its progressiveness and edginess. Their vibrant street fashion scene is known for creatively mixing and matching different styles and genres. That unique aesthetic of Japanese designers brings a lot of new ideas to accessory designs. Trends might come and go, but quality accessories stand the test of time. Great style is in the details. A nice outfit always punctuates with great accessories. Now I wonder if the artists and accessories from Japan are something to your taste. <laughs> 